Hi, welcome in. Okay, I'm going to talk about the PSLE 2022 question called the three rectangular fields. That's what I named it. Okay, and uh, I'm going to explain it to you as clearly as I can. Now, before you begin a question, it is always good to read the keywords. So let's begin with that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to read all the keywords. Okay, let me do that. So the first keyword here is the total area of the three rectangular fields being 876 square centimeters. They have identical widths and there is a fence around it of 177 meters as indicated by the lines. Okay, I will talk about this in a short while. The first question they're asking you to find is to find the length of AE, which is the length over here. And the second question is what is the perimeter of the field, which basically means you're going to find this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this, plus this, plus this. That will be the perimeter of the field, okay? So we always start with information that we have. And what I will start with right now is I will start with this information where they say they have identical widths. Now you can see here that 36 centimeters includes three, one, two, three identical widths. So my first task would be to find each of those widths, okay? So I'm gonna say each width, Can you tell me how to do it? Okay, if you set 36 divided by three and you got 12, that's fantastic, okay? So 12 centimeters. It is always a good habit to label information you found back into the question. All right, the next thing I'm going to find is uh, the a big rectangle that you can't see right now, which I'll show you, okay? But before I do that, I, I think I need to say this. So this 177 meters that you see over here is, uh, include, is a fence indicated by the lines. Now, it is not just these lines. It also includes the lines in here. Okay, these lines in here are part of the 177. So I need you to keep that in mind as we proceed. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to find this shape. Okay, let me just highlight this. Mm. Okay, I need to use a bit of imagination here, okay? This is going to be basically a big rectangle. And I know that it's, the purple line is not touching the black line, but just assume that they are. And then I'm going to label this over here as N. By the way, the question originally only as AE, according to the recall that are here, uh, B, C, D, E, F, G, all this were added by me, okay? So uh, I'm now going to find the perimeter of the big rectangle A, D, F, N. Okay? So let me just highlight for you, A, D, F, N. So it's one big rectangle, okay? And the way to do that is very simple. All you got to do is take 36 plus 27 plus 36 plus 27, or you can just take 36 plus 27, and you need to multiply this by two, okay? You can do it whichever way you prefer. This is 63, therefore you should get 126 square Oh, sorry, 126 centimeters. So the purple rectangle is 126 centimeters. Now, where does this purple rectangle overlap with the 177, which I showed you earlier? Okay, so just as a quick recall, the 177 includes all the black lines, including the black lines in here. Now, the purple line that you see over here represents this line brought out here, this line brought out here, and a small part brought up here, okay? So basically what I did was I took this portion, I shifted it up, I took this portion, I shifted it out, I took this portion, I shifted it out, okay? So the purple line includes 
Let me show you. It includes this, includes this, and it includes this. Okay. Now, perhaps for clarity, I should add a dotted line here. Okay, that's not very straight. Uh, okay, let's let's just go with that. Okay, so remember these three purple lines are included in this big rectangle. Now, if I were to now take 177, which includes every line in this purple rectangle, but also includes the two lines inside, which I've not highlighted. The two lines are, let me use a different color. The two lines are here and here. Okay, so these two lines are included inside 177. So if you were to now take 177 and you were to subtract 126, then you'll be subtracting away all the purple lines and the purple lines would include this, 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 and of course, it doesn't include the two red ones, okay? So the purple line is 126, the 177 is the red one, including the red one and the purple ones, right? So let me take that away. Okay. So now, my next step would be, 177 minus 126. And this includes two lines, BM and C to here. Okay, we don't have a label. If you prefer to label it, you can. Uh, let's just call it P. So BM plus CP would be equal to 177 minus 126 that will give you 51, okay? This is all in centimeters. So since the two red lines are equal to each other, and I want to find each of them, then what I do is I simply take 51 and I divide this by two, and that will give me BM and CP, of course. This calculation should give you 25.5. Now, keep in mind, that the red line that I just highlighted is actually equivalent to this length, okay? These two lines are equal in length. And since the first question is asking you to find AE, okay, length of AE, then basically I've already solved the question because BM, which is over here, is equals to AE, which is over here. And so, I've solved part A, okay? And that's 25.5. Now, of course, if this is an examination, you will need to show it. So you say BM equals AE, and this is equal to 25.5 centimeters. Okay, we have completed the first part of the question. Now let's move to the second part of the question, which is asking you to find the perimeter of the field. Now, the perimeter of this field is basically it's what we need to do now. Let's plan it. Is we need to take the length of the purple rectangle. Now I'm going to take this away for a little while and highlight all the lines that include the purple rectangle. So that includes this, includes this, includes this includes this and the other purple lines. And this represents uh, 126, okay? So the purple rectangle is 126, right? So now what I need to do is I need to find these two parts. And to find these two parts would mean that I will need to take the length of BM, which is 25.5, and subtract the length of BK, because once I take BM minus BK, then what I am getting 
is KM as well as HP. And when I add these two red arrows to the purple line, then I will get the perimeter of this entire, uh, the three fields when they are joined together. Okay, I just want to highlight that one more time for you to see so that you know exactly what I'm talking about. So our goal now is to find this plus this plus this plus this plus this, 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 and this. Okay, so that's your goal. And the purple portions here, here, not including the red arrows, is already, as we know, 126. So the moment I can find these two red lines, I just got to add it to 126, and I will get the perimeter of the field, right? So let's proceed to find the two red arrows. Now, I already know, again, that this is 25.5. All I need to know is this, but how am I going to find it? Well, that is where it takes us to the next information that we have not used, which is 876. Okay, what we do know is that uh, we know that this is 27, we know that this is 12, and that allows us to find the area of this rectangle. At the same time, I know that this is 25.5 and this is 12, that allows me to find the area of this rectangle. So my goal right now is to find the area of this rectangle, this rectangle, and take 876 and subtract the two of them to get the one in the middle, the area of the rectangle in the middle. Then I'm going to take the area of this rectangle, divide it by 12, because this is the breadth, to get the length, and that is BK. So once I know BK, as we discussed earlier, we'll take 25.5, we'll take away BK, and that gives me KM, which is my goal. Okay, so let's do that right now. Okay, so the first thing is to be neat, okay? Oops, sorry about that. Right, okay, so let's get it done. So first, I'm going to find the area of this rectangle followed by this rectangle, okay? That's what I'm doing now. So area, and to save yourself some time, you just write area, and then you put C, D, F, G. So C, do you know how to find that? Think about it. Okay, did you say 27 centimeters times 12 centimeters? Because if you did, then that's what is correct. Okay, so 27 times 12 would give me um, 324. Okay, so as I said, always label. So this is 324 cm square. And then next, I'm going to find the area of this rectangle, A, B, M, E. That's the second one. How much is that? Okay, now if you said 12 times 25.5, then of course you are correct. So 25.5 times 12, and that gives me 306 square centimeters. Label it. And so now we come to the final rectangle which we need. So we are going to take the total area and we're going to subtract the other two rectangles. Okay, so right now, this is called uh, rectangle B, C, H, K. B, C, H, K. That would be 876 minus 324 minus 306, okay? So I don't have space here. Let me just squeeze it in a bit. Okay, and this calculation would give you 200 and 46 square centimeters, okay? So we are almost there, yeah? So now we've got 246. And remember, why are we finding this area? Because we need to find BK, okay? Burger King, right. So how much is BK? Well, since 12, which is the breadth, times BK gives you 246, then to find BK, I do the reverse of that working, which is 246 divided by 12. So let me do that. Okay, so BK 
is 246, and I divide this by 12, I get 20.5. So 20.5 centimeters is this question mark I have here. Can we move that? Label it so that it's clear to you. So this is 20.5. So why did we find that? Okay, we wanted to get the red arrows, right? So now we take 25.5 minus 20.5, we get the red arrows, all right? So this is Km. So Km is 25.5 minus 20.5, and that gives me five centimeters. Okay, so right now, I have five cm here, five cm here, and these are the two missing pieces that I need to add to the purple lines to form the perimeter of this shape. So, and the purple lines add up to 126. So all I got to do now, do you know what to do? Okay, the last step is to find the perimeter. Let me just write this here. Perimeter, this is the answer for B, by the way of the field. And all I got to do now is take 126, which is the purple one, plus the two fives. And hopefully you can see this, it is 136 centimeters. Okay, just in case you can't, I'm just gonna write it here. The answer for A is therefore 25.5, and for B is 136. So 25.5, let me just, Put it down for you and be 136. Okay, so if there was any part here, we have completed the question. If there's any part here you didn't understand, you can always rewind and go back to that. Okay, uh, if you have any further questions for me, please leave me a comment. Okay, I will try to answer it. Uh, share this with your friends, maybe after the PSLE if you want to. And uh, yeah. Let me know if you found this useful and if you want to look at my other videos. If you find it useful, please subscribe. I would really appreciate that. It will help the channel that is here to help parents and students. I'll see you. Bye-bye.